Uh, about six years ago, we began to hold meetings with organizations and businesses in the area. Uh, and two and a half years ago, we were able to get a, uh, to put together a neighborhood plan. So over the period of about a year, doing community surveys, having community meetings, uh, having people suggest plans and actions, a document was put together, which is called the THDC Neighborhood so Plan. And the meeting talk with the notion that this is a historical area, um, but also an area in need of rehabilitation physically, human capital renewal, and the like. And so the plan has all of those elements in it. that stands for Trenton Historical District. Uh, the reason that's called Trenton Historical District is because that building, uh, which is a, uh, an African-American lodge, uh, once was a school. There's a building uh, on, on one block over that was the first Negro school uh, in Trenton. Uh, and Mayor David Dinkins of New York was born in Free Street, which is two blocks over. So there are a lot, there's a lot of African-American history and Trenton history based in, in um, We're community asset mapping so we could find historic sites so tourists can find them more easily. Maps so tourists can come here to bring money back to Trenton so they can improve and more tourists will come here. Um, one of the things that we uh, did was a kind of a windshield survey of uh, property use uh, and abandonment uh, and uh, part of what it is that we're hoping that you'll be able to do is help us create additional layers of data. Uh, that data was collected um, over a year ago. Uh, some of the property conditions have changed and we didn't take any pictures, All right. So um, what you'll be doing is updating our data, uh, allowing us to uh, overlay that on the map and as uh, individuals, businesses, and institutions do different things, implementing the plan, we can kind of track that over time. So uh, what you're, you know, the notion of uh, collecting a sense of public safety of safety in public spaces definitely fits into that, particularly since if you, if you read the discussion about uh, the reduction in police, number of police officers in Trenton, uh, and the whole question of what whether or not we're going to have deployment on street corners to have investigations going on uh, with tactical units. Uh, so the question of uh, public safety is even a, a larger one uh, for, for this community now than ever. So uh, what you'll be doing, I think, will be helpful as the community begins to think about how it responds uh, to kind of community policing, not with the notion of the police doing the, uh, the policing, but the community trying to create uh, a sense of safety for itself. Yeah. Yeah. Really, it's not too much that, because being at the cops are off, I think maybe a community getting together, you know, like, um, People talking to each other, acknowledging it's here. Neighbors helping each other.
Um, I'm 42. Thank you so much. You're welcome.